Welcome back. So we will start with downloading node.js. So you might be wondered to download Appium why I need node.js. So Appium is a no comes as a node module. Okay. So if you want to get node module into your machine, you need to have node.js software. Right. So node is world in itself and you see that angular js all those are you know node modules in the same way even appium comes as a specific node module and to use that appium in our machines first of all as a prerequisite we need to have that node.js software just like a java how we have if you want to work on android and eclipse because they run on java machine at the same time uh, if you want to work on with this appium you need node.js Okay, so let's go and say download node.js. Go to their official site and yep. If you are working on 64, you can download this. If it's in 32, this okay. And once you download, you can run that the dot msi file and click on next next. It will take a while and complete node installation in your machine so once installation is completed you can find that node.js module in your program files let me show you it's just like where you see java and android studio see program files and once you click on finish button with that node.js installation uh, yeah here you go node.js okay so yes, we have successfully downloaded Node.js and now we need to set environment variables path. Just like how we have done for Java. Copy this path, go back to again, system settings, environment variables, create a system, new system variable saying node underscore home and give that path. You see that I already have in my machine right and apart from that you also need few other files let me show you node modules npm and bin yeah you need to have this as well npm so what is npm here you need to know the difference between node and npm so node is a software in that node you have a command line installer called npm so with this npm you can download any node module now appium is one node module angular js is one node module protractor that is for you know uh, it's just like selenium but for angular js web application and that is one node module so there are different node modules available over the net which are widely used across the globe Okay, so if you want to download all those node module, you can download via npm only. I'll tell you how to download appium with this npm. Okay, so in node modules, go to npm, go to bin folder, copy this path and place it in your path folder. So just follow my lectures. You will understand when I start downloading appium. Okay, the real usage of this npm. Okay. For now just accept it uh, go to path folder and create a new and add that npm slash pin this is must you need to add this i already have in my machine okay so let me uh, click on okay uh, click on okay right now go back to your word document you see that we have successfully set node home by going till this path and we have also set npm environment variables path by just going to the bin right all set now go and download the appium so as i said in the when i when i'm explaining architecture appium comes as a two packages one is client appium client and another is appium server okay so appium client in the sense you can write your appium code in multiple languages so if you watch my initial lectures when i'm talking about capabilities of appium you can write it in java 
जावा स्क्रिप्ट पाइथन सी शॉप रूबी ओके सो इट्स अप टू यू यू कैन कोड इन एनी लैंग्वेज द स्पेसिफिक यूजिंग दैट एप एम ए पी आई सो दैट जार्स विच सपोर्ट यूअर लैंग्वेज इज कॉल्ड एप एम क्लाइंट तो फॉर एग्जाम्पल होल दिस ट्यूटोरियल रन ऑन एप एम जावा क्लाइंट ओके यू यूज जावा ए पी एम टू टॉक टू यूर मोबाइल टेस्ट केसेस सो दैट इज क्लाइंट जार्स सो इफ यू वर्क ऑन सी शॉप यू नीड टू से एप एम सी शॉप क्लाइंट जार्स सो इट्स अप टू यू इन वॉट लैंग्वेज यू राइट यूर टेस्ट केसेस यू नीड टू हैव दैट स्पेसिफिक क्लाइंट जार्स सो वी नीड एप एम क्लाइंट जार्स एप एम जावा क्लाइंट जार्स एंड दैट इज अ क्लाइंट सेट एट सर्वर साइड यू नीड यू नीड टू हैव एन एप एम सर्वर विच इज कॉमन अक्रॉस एनी क्लाइंट ओके एप एम सर्वर इज अ यूनिक एंड वन थिंग which actually listen to your client code so when you write your java code here and hit and run and ask you to execute that this client will communicate with your apm server and then execute test cases in your mobile that's how internal architecture works you need to send the code from your client side and from your editor tools maybe then eclipse and then code goes to the server and server interprets your code and then triggers the execution in mobile devices so that's the reason apm comes into two different components apm server apm client so when you run your test with apm java code so it should send to server right so so server to listen to your client it sh it should start we should download that apm server in our machine and we need to start that apm server then only whenever you execute something code server is ready to listen if you download and if you don't start your server when you are working for your apm test there is you know there is no execution because server is not is not listening to your tests so apm server invocation is the mandatory and the first before you want to run the test okay so theoretically it looks some difficult but when you start working practical it's very easy you can simply start the server with one click okay and then run your tests that's all so why i'm explaining this concept means now we need to download server separately and client separately in our machine okay maybe i i used to get lot of mails from my students asking so i already downloaded appm why again we are downloading again okay that's why you know in my next lectures this is the remake of the previous lectures okay so i want to now clearly differentiate between client and server here we need to have it separately so my earlier lectures are on apm 1.1 one year back now they are updated so even i updated my lectures with all the latest installation so there is no android studio when i start teaching apm it just come as sdk folder and now they have provided us neat ui to you know create virtual device earlier you know there used to be lot of commands from command line it's a big work now they made it very easy okay hopefully they'll make more and more easy in the future right now let's go and download apm server first so this apm server comes as a node module okay this is a node module so node modules can be downloaded via npm only so let's go back to our command prompt and uh, let me create one more so how to download apm in your machine so you can down first of all note down this point so just to avoid confusion for you you can download any node module only using npm npm is a command line tool you can google it what is npm it's a command line installer which helps to install all your node modules so apm is node module let me download it with the command npm install hyphen g apm yeah so you need to say npm install hyphen g in the sense installing it globally in your system right so we are just asking our npm to go and get me the apm that's it this npm is responsible to connect to the server node server and check for this apm node module and it downloads into your machine so all that npm takes care 
we need not very like where exactly it is located and from which site you need to download okay for example in the previous lectures if you want to download android home we we went to their official site we brought that we clicked .exe file no it's a long process right but that made easy when when it is a node module okay with npm you can simply say npm and go and install appm that's it you need not worry what happened at backend but ultimately once the installation is completed appm will be in your system that's the beauty of npm and the node module right let me hit an enter so it takes a while to download probably 2 to 3 minutes i guess based upon your internet speed and your ram configuration so be patient okay so it takes time to install it's still running so maybe for the first time it might take i just uninstalled yesterday to demo again how to install it freshly so just be cautious and patient till it get installed probably it might take 4 to 5 minutes it's up to them so let me pass this video i don't want to just waste the time waiting for that so once installation is complete i'll resume it again okay you see that installation started it's extracting all the files you can see that into that node module right it's done so it successfully installed all the dependencies which is needed to run appm server in your machine you can see that so it took me 5 to 7 minutes to complete maybe in the same in your case when you are working okay so these are all are the dependencies you need to run that appm server right so once the entire appm is downloaded so now you can start the server simply by typing the word appm and hit an enter and that's it appm server will start immediately you can see that with this message you can confirm that appm server is successfully started in your machine now you might be wondered that you have given this word from some random path but still it identified where exactly appm is present in your machine and it started the server so the reason behind that is while installing you have given like this g stands for global keyword as i said this is helping us to identify this appm in your system anyway wherever you install when you make it with hyphen g global that is applicable to every path of your system so that's the reason you can simply provide this appm word and that's it you can start the server it's very easy right so once you install going forward when you want to practice just open the command prompt and hit this word that's it wherever it is installed it will go there and it will start your server you can simply confirm by reading this message called welcome to appm and if you want to stop the server click on control c and then you will get like this terminate bad job select y and hit an enter so that your server is now stopped you can restart again by just typing this word called appm and your server will start again okay so this is how you can install appm and start the appm server so in the next lecture let's go and see what are java client libraries for this appm and install them okay thank you